So last time in leaf, well sorry, knife defence, um, I might have left people with the impression that Aikido wasn't functional in that situation. Now I'm going to examine some techniques that show promise, but what they really depend upon is you actually being some good at them. And you know, a whole lot of things may play in and basically uh, if you've got to think about it, you're probably in trouble. So that's why you need to practice kata. And Aikido finds its roots in basically Budo, which comes from Bushido. And a part of the Bushido philosophy is the undertaking in a decisive way of desperate action in the spur of the moment. Um, you know, the Obviously, one uses other ways of determining necessity, but this is one of the things that Aikido is sort of training you towards, to react spontaneously in the best possible way. So, he's going to stab at me. And here we are. He's not in a good position. I've locked that up and it's really not going to be too difficult for me to do something to him. So this is basically an Irimanagi style thing, Sokoman Irimanagi. Because I'm tall, it's difficult, come with the other hand, for me to get in like this. It's not because of our different sizes. He'll be able to do that to me quite easily. But There we are, and he will let that go or I'll break his elbow, basically. So I have to adapt it to my size. I mustn't think, Sokomaniru Managi, Sokomaniru Managi, come on then, Sokomaniru Managi. Oh, 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 no, that was not a good idea. I think Aikido principle, enter. And there we are. I've adapted it to my particular stature. Now he will see what suits him best. So that was a something towards Katakatami, that's Rokyo it felt like, yeah? A little bit, yeah. A bit of a hybrid, but nevertheless Aikido movement. <coughs> you haven't got control of the knife. <laughs> that was a bit iffy, that one. Yeah. So, if you're going for the person, but you need that knife controlled. There. So that's a perfectly acceptable Kodagesh stroke here in Managi. Aikido. weapons form of Kodageshi. Uh, what's happening there, basically I did strike him, but I cut down over tape. Now for those who aren't Aikidoka, a thing to understand about Aikidoka, about Aikido, is that when we do Kodageshi, you come in, now if he resists, if he resists, what really happens in the street 
is that this wrist gets broken. You know, there'll be no mercy, you just go straight in and you go crack. But because he's an Aikidoka and has trained, when I do that, he goes with it. Because that saves him. But in the street, that's just the broken wrist. The same is also true, or well, slightly higher strike now. You see something like this, Yokomen, or it could be Sankyo, whichever. And you see the nice friendly version. But actually, this can be really ratcheted on, and it'll break, it'll break stuff. So you just see Aikido, where the philosophy is not to hurt the person any more than you have to. And you might argue in knife defense, well, you know, that's a bit irrelevant. But it's the general principle of Aikido. So we'll do a few more. Katakatami. Struggling too much with that. <laughs> Try again. So, you can see what happens. Gets caught up in what he's doing. Insistent. So it's a good lesson. So when you're in that position, what you do is you put in an Aikido principle. So we'll get to that position again where he's struggling. And now all he has to do, Aikido principle, chain cam. And we all, unless we're absolutely perfect, will probably end up possibly doing that. So I'm going to... So. So that was the Superman Irimanagi variant. So I've put a disclaimer on this, <laughs> but this is just an opinion. I've just been trying to show you how I think uh, Aikido can work against a knife attack. And it also has general application as well. So you can take what you want from this. Thank you.